right, guys. I'm Deb. I'm Mike. So I have been raving pretty much all week yeah, about she Side One. She really liked it a the, lot. This was the the album for me that solidified Rush as being okay. This is this is you know this is a, a a solid rock band that has stood the test of time and could produce something that was not only memorable but um, new in its time. Kind of avant garde where they were going with it. Part alien, part electro punk, part classic rock. All right. We shall move on to Tears. The lyrics were written by Getty Lee. So that's a little different, too. Everybody's getting a ton. Yeah. Now, this is romantic ballad, so this will be interesting. Hooray! And I do believe it has you, Syme, playing the Mellotron. He's the guy that designed the album covers. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. And then we're going to listen to a bit of a cover song, a cover version of this. But we'll get to that. Song number four. Side two, tears. like a love song. Okay, what that song meant to me was like sometimes you're with someone and the whatever they're suffering, you can't help them. You just can't. There's nothing you can do that would possibly help them. So you like take on some of their pain as your own and you that's what it means to me. That you can, you know, you can always you can share it with them but you can't take it away. Whatever they're dealing with is just that big. It stabs you. Stabs you right where it is. Mm, mm. 
Mm. I wasn't getting stabbing, but okay. Sorry. <laughs> I Violence mean, in somehow. a very deep, melancholic way that's not an actual physical pain, but it could be. Quite the contrast from the evil priests of temples of Syrinx. <laughs> they're simpler songs. Doesn't mean they're not good. Just means yeah. that for them, they're usually doing very complicated, complex songs. So it's interesting the balance here. Sometimes a simple song is way harder than a more mm. complex one. It is hard to pull off often. And get it right. Yeah. Well, the to me, a ballad, the, the challenge of a ballad the is not to journey. make it cheesy. You know, like you don't want it to be cheesy. A little cheese. A little. You it's have to have a little cheese because it's supposed cheese. to tug at your heartstrings and all that. But like you don't want it to come across as a commercial. Right. In 2016, I guess it was the 40th anniversary of this album, they came up with, you know, one of those box sets or a new edition or whatever. And some bands did cover songs that were included from this album. So oh. this one's by Alice in Chains. Oh, we're listening to one? Yeah. All right. Well, at least some of it. I like Alice so it's in from, Chains. Yeah, I like Alice in Chains too. So I'm curious. That song, Alice in Chains doing that song. So let's hear it. Oh. From 2016. Awesome. Is that a slightly different key? All of the seasons and all of the days All of the reasons why I felt this way So long, so long Then lost in that field Until it got to the chorus, I was like, this is not very Alice in Chainsy. But then when the chorus came in, especially with the vocals, like, yeah, that's Alice in Chains. I get it. That's a beautiful song, though. It is. I liked I, I kind of liked they had done more with it in their own style. They, they did a little and, bit and of it at the did, end there. They but, didn't do enough. Like, they could have taken that in their weird, dark ways. Okay, the last song on side two is up now. It's called Something for Nothing. More acoustic.
song. Yeah, okay. I get that as a song to end the end the album and side two. Uh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It just went into like hard rocking guitar solo rock star mm-hmm. mode. Mm-hmm. Every one of those songs, except for the ballad, I think, did that. These songs pe- are friendly songs, easy to listen to. Yeah, they were. So side one, yes, it was a 20 minute song. Yes, it was progressive Rocky, but it was not that hard to digest on the first listen. Mm-mm. Anything else you want to say about the album as a whole? Mm-hmm. I like that they did it this way. I like that they did. So if you were to start out in an experimental, fun, fantastical way and like play around with imagination and all kinds of stuff that that makes sense to me before you get into okay you might be more tired by this time you get to side two so let's just give you something that's just like all right bite-sized and enjoyable without too much emotional commitment and unless you get to tears and then you get to tears and it's just like oh yeah i really have a deeper scope about them as artists now and I like it. I like having the deeper knowledge of like all these people in retrospect, what they're going through, what they represent as artists, what they're trying to portray and deliver to their listeners. You I, listeners I, of right. Rush who love them. Right. Did they speak to all of your needs and wants and wishes in a way that you weren't expecting? Hence the fandom. I feel like they're still finding their identity or growing. They are still evolving and they continue to evolve. Right. I don't think they ever followed. You I never, think as yeah. their albums went along. They just get different. You don't well, know what you're going to get. Artists do that. They never right. settle they don't just at one sit, thing. Right. They, they settle, just, they die. Yes. It's very, enjoyable. Yes. I like Rush. They're actually on my list now. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I know Rush. Hey, thank you, patrons. Thanks, patrons. You are the best. Really the best. You the make best it possible for us to do this because we can't really monetize these videos. So thank you so much for your support. You deserve something better than a coffee mug. If this you would like one. to join that wonderful group of people, check out our Patreon. Here's the information. We have extra videos there and more. If you'd like to leave us a tip or a donation, here's the information. Have at it. Thank you for your support as well. Anything $5 or more will get recognized in our next video. And of course, we need your subscription. If you haven't subscribed yet, it would really help out the channel if you could click that little button. Continue to like the video if you like it. Share the videos. Leave your comments. Those are all helpful. Thank you so much. Well, good. Thanks for joining us on Rush Journey number two. Yep, that was fun. We'll see you next time. We love you guys. See ya. See you next time. Bye.